Hey there, this is Mr. Icarus, and welcome to yet another edition of Icarus Plays Doom 2016. We're in the Lazarus Labs, and <laughs> boy is it a jolly looking place. Very atmospheric, love what they've done with the candles here. Candles that apparently don't go out when you walk over them. Wondering what demon is responsible for keeping those lit. Maybe it's just hell energy. The explanation for everything. Hell energy keeps the candles lit, that's all you need to know. And what are you going to complain about today, Olivia? The mistake that he has come into our possession. Oh, I can feel my ears burning. He's, she's complaining about me again. If he wakes. Well, guess what? I am ruining all of your shit, Olivia. I don't care what shit you have planned. I am ruining all of it. And let's face it, your shit is mostly ruined already. Damn, sick burn. But anyway, have you noticed that all of the other UAC employees here are bald as a coot? I don't think I've seen a single hologram or a single corpse that actually has a full head of her. But we've also got the siphon grenade. Very useful. I'm going to actually switch over to that. If you get into a tricky situation, you can lob a siphon grenade at a lot of enemies, and it will actually replenish your health. In fact, I'm going to take a few hits here, just for shits and giggles, and lob a siphon grenade. Oh, lovely health. But anyway... Let's turn all of these into Swiss cheese. Ah, there we go. And you. One more, one more. Come on, cool down. There we go. Spiffing. So before we get cracking on with the rest of the level, we're going to do the usual thing. Check out our challenges. we got Variety is the Spice of Death 2, the sequel. Perform five different glory kills on possessed soldiers. Very specific. So it's got to be soldiers. Soldier possessed, nothing different. Thread the needle. Kill eight demons with a single shot. Sounds more complicated than it actually is. Because we've got a BFG. BFGs generally kill a lot of things in one go. We've also got Time Well Spent, which is play a game of demon destruction. Actually quite tricky to find. Completely missed this first time around, even though it's listed as a challenge. But fear not, dear viewer, I will show you where that is. Boatload of secrets, boatload of elite guards, loads of lovely stuff. We're going to find all of it because that, that's just how awesome we are. But actually, I'm going to see if I can soften these, guy, these guys up and get that challenge done. Are you ready? Are you softened? Can I do it? Here we go. Variety is the spice of death. One of five. Oh, charge. Got to dodge those. Let's do a little bit more in the face region. Does that count as number two? No, it doesn't count. Jeez, I must have repeated myself. Oh, well. I'll get down to it later. It's just having to deal with Hellraisers. They're a little bit of a pain in the ass. And because I know what's coming up, we're going to stick to the plasma gun. Oh, hello! Guess what? You're dead because I shot you in the ass. That's how you deal with pinkies. I have clearly learned <laughs> since my last encounters with pinkies. I have a much clearer head this time around. It helps immeasurably when dealing with enemies. But yeah, there seems to be a little bit of a technical problem with this lift here. We're going to sort this out. We're just gonna... Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think that sorted it. Job done. It's always a clear case problem of imps in the lift shaft. Always screws up with the mechanics of things. But there is a secret to be discovered around here, and it's actually this event which uh, surprised me a little because this is actually the most obvious vent for me. It's the first one that I actually went through. The, the, the least obvious vent for me was this one down here. We have to prize off this bit in order to get access to it. I thought this would have counted as an actual secret. But we're just going to do a little bit of checking around because I need to make sure that I will in fact be able to get to a few things. I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to gain access to that in a bit, the little Praetor suit token. Like it or not, we're going to have to go through this next arena area, which is full of all sorts of unpleasant crap, but we're the goddamn Doom Slayer. We'll make it work. There's also a haste power up in here as well. And a revenant as a welcoming party. How nice. But anyway, we're going to swap over to the super shotgun for this one. Oh boy, he's very resilient. And I didn't get a chance to glory kill him either. I feel cheated. I feel, I feel let down by that. Oh. We've got a bit of uh, a welcoming party with the imps here as well. But as usual, we're just going to do a little bit of clearing up before we trigger the gore nest and get ourselves an aerial glory kill while we're at it, just to upgrade that rune, which we'll do eventually. Does that count? Yep, that counts. Lovely. You, you'll do. 
But yeah, you only have to get 30 of those, so I only need to do 10 more aerial glory kills. That one doesn't count. Actually, it did count. Wow. I thought that was just a standard glory kill. But hey, every little helps. Let's get this party started, shall we? Let's unlock all of these holding cells. And show these demons a good time! If things get a little too hectic, we do in fact have a BFG. But come on, soften up. No, that was actually a bit too much overkill. Ha, <laughs> what am I even saying? There's no such thing as too much overkill. But yeah, when it comes to those glory kills, you, you want to be able to, to get them as cleanly as possible so you can just move on to the next. All the while dodging all the crazy bullshit from all these other enemies here. So we've got a few Hell Knights, which means I should probably use this. There we go. Job done. It's like he wasn't even there. We've also got access to our chainsaw. We've nearly got full, um, full fuel. Forgot the word for a second. How could I forget what you power a chainsaw with? It's obviously fuel. I mean, duh, come on. Did that strike any of them? It did. I've got the chain rune, I think, for this as well, which uh, causes other enemies to be frozen if you get them within the right length of time. Ah, it's getting a bit hectic. Time for the haste rune. And time to swap over to the good old super shotgun, because this also counts for reload speed, firing speed. Just generally makes everything a little bit more fun. I'm also loving the amount of explosive barrels around here. Sometimes I don't even notice that I've been shooting the explosive barrels, but um, they definitely aid in tricky situations. Oh, here we go. Here's the big fatty. And you know what we've got? We've got the chainsaw. Ha! Pinata. That's all you're good for, you big fat nankibus son of a bitch. So, one bit of fuel left. You'll do just to round out the fuel. But yeah, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more fluid when it comes to using my uh, my weapons and switching on the fly. It can get a, a little tricky to, to, to figure out exactly what you need to use in some situations, but so eventually you get a feel for the wheel. You get a feel for what direction you need to fling them, the, uh, the old mouse. To, to get the right tool for the job. But anyway, is there any specific location I need to investigate here? No, not really. I just need to head out the general entrance, which is full of possessed. Poor sons of bitches. Um, how are we doing challenge-wise? Five different glory kills. Still got to do three of those. And, yep. This is where it's very easy to miss a secret, because if you turn around, this is the actual entrance to it, and a lot of people just want to forge on ahead. They, they, they want to take the, the critical path for a lot of this stuff, and you don't want to be doing that. Especially if you're a, a secret hunter like myself. We've got ourselves a Praetor Suit token, which totals up to four? Is it four, or is it two? It's probably two. Yeah, only got two. Can't really upgrade anything with that, but when it comes to the weaponry, I'm sure there's something. I'm sure there's something that only costs four. Gotta be. Anyone? Skullcracker, you'll do. Lovely. So now we can just accrue even more of those tokens, even more of those upgrade points. And in terms of the runes, I don't know if I've got anything fully upgraded here just yet, but we're only two away from a full deck, which is nice, and I believe those final two are, in fact, during the course of this level. So, yeah, we're doing all right. We've pretty much picked up everything we can. I think... There was a codex entry in here as well that I missed, just for those people that get annoyed when I miss the codex entries. That one was for you. And what else have we got to deal with here? Oh, it's a caco that you can't kill for some reason. You can just keep plugging away at the guy and he just hovers there taking no shit from nobody. Basically, this entire game is an excuse to slag off Olivia. Because she's just such a weak-ass character. But anyway, upgrade drone. What have we got left to upgrade? We could get the Gatling rotator. We could get the precision bolt. Rock detonation. Uh, you know, it's it's just concession at this point. I'm going to get the precision bolt. Which functions kind of like the scope for the um, the heavy assault rifle. As you zoom in, you got to power it up. Kind of like the Black Widow sniper from Overwatch. And then when it's up to full power, you can let a volley off, and it, it, it really does wreck faces in general. So, a few more things to encounter. We've got a rune trial coming up. 
And there is a few very easy to miss things around here. If, you, if you're just skimming through the environments, you will completely walk by a lot of important stuff. So we've got this up here, which, um... I don't know, does this actually count as a secret? It should do. If we drop down here, will this actually give us access to the bit we want? Yep, it does. So this is a secret area. It won't trigger until we get around the corner here as well, but we've also got the full map. And if we go down through here and leap up through the side... Is this actually going to count as a secret area? I hope it does. Because that was a little bit of an effort for me to find, all things considered. See if we can go back through this way. Does it list? I don't know. I'm confused about that one. It's definitely an area that we explored. I was hoping that would actually count as a secret area, but um, I'm a little bit unsure now. And those guys came out of nowhere. I think it's because I took the uh, the weird route. <laughs> the, the, the possessed in the room didn't quite understand that I was here yet. Because I, I don't usually take that particular route. Also, we've got ourselves a uh, Hell Knight. Lovely chap. Always wants to shake your hand, but you know what? He's a little bit sweaty. It's best to just shoot him in the face. You know what? I'm just going to try it again just to satisfy my curiosity. I'm sure it should come up as a secret area. I'm just going to pop down here. See if it triggers. No! It doesn't! How strange! I'm, I'm just very confused by that. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. But anyway, up ahead we should have a, another rune trial to deal with in a sec. We already got the codex entry from that room, so that should be fine and dandy. But yeah, this one's very easy to miss. This. If you just run right over it, you'll never know it was there. But if you drop down, you get access to a load of goodies little bit of extra armor, and if you crawl through these vents, it will eventually, I think, yep, get you access to this room with a rune trial. And you know what we do with rune trials? We goddamn conquer them. Let's see what we've got here. We have got the get rich, rich get richer even rune trial. So firing our standard weapons will not cost ammo when we have a hundred armor or more. That sounds very useful. So, armed with the rocket launcher and using only the resources found in the area, eliminate all targets before the timer expires. Hmm. See if we can do this, eh? So, rocket launcher, limited amount of ammunition, final destination. Let's do this. Damn, is that... Oh, I thought that was a mancubus for a second. They take a damn long time. It's a good job I'm not counting the deaths from rune trials, isn't it? Because I would have a fair few more deaths. Let's try that again. Yeah, let, let's let's try and be uh, a little smarter with uh, what we're doing with the splash damage here, because uh, even though I'm immune to barrels, I'm not immune to the splash damage from rocket launchers. So, uh, yeah, want to be a little bit careful. As careful as you can possibly be. Oh, God damn it, they're, they're throwing a nice variety of enemies at me here in this rune trial. But how many more kills have we got left? A fair amount. I'm hoping there's a few more popcorn enemies, and I am running out of health because it's a friggin' spectre, god damn it! Right, third time's a charm. Got my focus hat on now. Nothing can stop me now. I'm gonna avoid all of the projectiles. I'm gonna avoid all of the enemies. I'm not gonna take a single hit because I'm just that friggin' badass. And we are gonna ace it! So what you gotta do, you gotta you gotta talk yourself up. You you gotta convince yourself you're a badass. Sure, I'm taking a bit of damage. That's normal. That's fine. The glory kills count? Yes, they do. Very happy about that. Let's see if we can get some health back. No, we don't have any health. The health doesn't regenerate. Bugger! Bugger! Okay, so this rune trial is a lot tougher than I anticipated it to be. You know what I said way back when in the early part of this let's play that um Rune Trials weren't all that difficult. God, am I eating my words right now. This is requiring every little bit of my skill here because it's it's just an unfortunate combination of elements. You've got the splash damage from the rocket launcher, you've got the lack of armor to protect you from said splash damage, and then you've got a lot of these melee-focused enemies that really like to close the range between you and it, and it's... Um, it's not a very pleasant experience. And now we've got my favorite, my favorite of them all, the friggin' invisible pinkies. Bollocks. 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 
Bollocks. Come on. Are you dead? Yes, you are. Thank you. All of you, please die. Oh, God, that was close. Jeez. My, my, my adrenaline is pumping ever so slightly here if I get out of this situation. Oh, sugar. He's the last one. He's the last one. He's the last one. He's glowing red. Can we get him? Can we get him and not die an embarrassing death? Thank you, remote detonation. Yes! Woo! That was a little tough. You know what? I'm thinking this is a good time to take a little break. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Icarus out.